Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to bring you up to speed where we're at. And if you come into my YouTube channel here at uh, youtube.com slash quantlabs, uh, in there, if you just go under video, click on the sort by button. We want most popular. What I want to show you is what is the most popular of all the stuff that I've got. Obviously, We've got a, vid a video I course series I put out two years ago on Python Algo trading series. That was two years ago. Now, four months ago, I put out this video on experimenting with Gecko, JavaScript, and open source. Now, that video, if you open that up, you'll see a lot of dislikes. And the reason there's a lot of dislikes in there is because of one fact, is that I diss JavaScript. And all the JavaScript, and probably even the PHP folks, are not happy with me. So anyways, let's not get into the neat, nerdy, geeky wars. Um, that's beside the point. Let's get you up and running, building out trading platforms, especially the algorithmic, automated and systematic that you own and control. So we have that. And another uh, very popular video um, that's been growing is anything to do with this gecko. So what is gecko? For anybody who's not familiar with Gecko, Gecko is a Bitcoin trading bot. Now, I'm going to show you the right way to build a bot, which is not really a bot, but it's a strategies or a set of strategies that you can develop on your own with your own technology and having the basic understanding on how to build, quote unquote, the bot. But there's a better way to do it and it's open source and it does not cost you a penny. All right, so if you watch this video on Gecko, and if I was to search other videos, there's really only three or four on Gecko, this guy right here, what you'll find here is um, another video that's fairly popular is which Bitcoin cryptocurrency bot project. And then I go over in this one called Gecko versus CCXT versus Tribeca versus Blackbird. So if you're on my podcast, not able to see it visually, two videos I want you to check out. One is called, um, again, it's all under youtube.com slash quantlabs, okay? Two videos that you can take note of. First, which Bitcoin cryptocurrency bot project Gecko versus CCXT versus Tribeca versus Blackbird? They're all free. They're all open source. The more popular one is this video called Experimenting with Gecko JavaScript Open Source Cryptocurrency Trading Bot. And when I spell Gecko, it's G-E-K-K-O from the folks uh, on that movie years ago. Um, and uh, that's that. So the one I am going to recommend, which is really a trading framework, is CCXD. So if you are not even a programmer, but you want to get into this, this thing is free. There's GitHub, the number one repository for source code on the planet. All of it's free. All of it's open source. But look up something called CCXT. Okay, so GitHub CCXT. Okay, really powerful, very cool <coughs> operating system or uh, uh, re repository project. Now, if you want to learn about cryptocurrency, this thing is awesome. It's open source. It's free. And they consistently update it. So... If you are ever interested in cryptocurrency, which I know you are, and I've just shown you the videos that are most popular, you come to coin, coin market cap. There's these uh, exchanges out there that are consistently changing. Every it seems like every time you put on a new pair of underwear, there's going to be a new exchange, and this list goes up and down like a toilet seat. So we got Binance and all these other ones that you probably never heard of. And it's very tough to stay on top of these ones. But if you use this thing called CCXT, you will be able to stay on top of, as a wrapper, be able to quite easily um, be able to, uh, with one API call it, and be able to manage all the different um, gateways to these different exchanges. And yet it changes again all the time. This thing, again, is free, um, and I really love this thing. It's so well designed, and you can see how frequently it gets updated. Nine days ago, five hours ago, this thing has got a huge community. 
And this is the number one, and I will repeat, number one way to do this when it comes to cryptocurrency. Because when you look at projects like Gecko and other projects, they will not have the updates that this thing has and will not stay up to date on the ever-changing exchanges uh, in the world of cryptocurrency, wherever they are. But this thing will talk to over 90, I think it's even 100 uh, uh, exchanges. But you obviously want to focus on the more popular ones and I always say most reliable. So knowing that, uh, this thing is unbelievable. But here's the issue. When you look at uh, CCXT, there's three programming languages that are supported. We have JavaScript, PHP, and Python. Uh, I will tell you, I can probably almost guarantee it, if I was to say that um, that uh, Python is number one, okay? Now, if you go to do a search on uh, CCXT, you'll see what comes up in Google here. You'll, you'll see that Python is listed right within the tabs of the Google search, and Python is the one that comes up number one. You don't see JavaScript. You don't see PHP, and there's a reason for that. From a programming perspective, I will tell you that building so-called robots and cryptocurrency, building out even frameworks in either these two uh, web languages, JavaScript and PHP, is not the way to do it. Why? Because it's single-threaded, it's a pain in the butt to work with, and da-da-da, I could go on. I'm not here to hate on for these um, languages like, like I did in this video here, um, it's just a lot of hate on, you learn, but be nice, but I'm just telling you that to do the job properly, you really want to use Python, and as I said, right there is Python in this little tab search. So um, without a doubt that Python is the number one language to use this thing. So where did I go? Oh, let me find my video. Uh, I'm going to find it. Here we go. No. Yeah, there we go. So with CCXT, um, you get a ton of a uh, ton of um, examples in Python. As I said, all the source codes there. It's very, very, very well maintained. Um, here's all the exchanges that you have. You got like tons of them, tons of them. But out of this one is like, which one do you use? And it's very confusing. And I also tell you, if you pick one. It probably won't exist in a week because why? Oh, the regulators decided to shut it down. So this is a great way to build, I won't call them trading bots because the problem with a bot is it's going to change. It's going to not work anymore. Why? Because maybe the exchange will close down or maybe who knows. But this is a good way to learn about cryptocurrency using this very powerful uh, language obviously Python and Python is the number one language on the planet for this sort of stuff I can tell you why because if you look up something called TOB programming language which is an index for uh, the most popular um, programming languages out there and yeah there's lots of people will say da 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 this one that one but um, this one is one of the standards not the standard but you can see Believe me, from a programming perspective, Java can be really complicated. C, C++, the number three easiest language in the world to use is pretty well Python. And I really like it. And I'm able to bang out scripts and even systems in weeks, not months, and pulling my hair out with these languages. Um, because I do like Python and it's popular for a reason. Why? Machine learning, number one, without a doubt, on TensorFlow, if that was the path you wanted. If you wanted to go with um, ease of use and get up and running fast, this is the language of choice. And once again, um, that's why CCXT is popular with the Python option. Okay, So I'm hoping that this helps you out as a tip to use CCXT and nothing else when it comes to trading bots for cryptocurrency you can tell that it's a very popular topic in the world of the quant labs whatever you want to call it but this is easily the right path to go down and save yourself a lot of wasted time by realizing what i'm telling you now 
This is free. It doesn't cost you anything. But to learn this stuff is the best. CCXT with the Python option. And believe me when I say this thing is updated well and keeps you um, in loop with the ever-changing picks of um, of uh, these, these exchanges. All right. Hopefully I'll help you out. Over and out. Have a good day.